All right, guys, in this video, it's behavioral health, and we're here to focus on kind of the adaptive responses. And I, I see these kind of, it's the operant conditioning, and I see these kind of questions asked a lot. So I think this is the one you should kind of really focus in on. Uh, if you follow the steps through the process, I think you'll get these questions right pretty much, uh, hopefully, every time. So hope you like the video. All right, guys, so the question reads, <clears throat> a four-year-old child gets put into uh, a time out, I'm sorry, time out, that involves not participating in, in a fun activity in order to decrease behavior. The child is experiencing which of the following? So anytime you see this positive punishment, positive reinforcement, negative punishment, or negative reinforcement, you got to be thinking operant, uh, it's a spelling here, but operant conditioning, okay? It's a very common kind of a psychiatric kind of way to say, okay, what's, what the behavior is. But just to give you some perspective, and again, this is kind of in that, in that outline, is there's really, yeah, let's just say two main types of kind of behavior theories about how, you know, why people uh, act and react the way they do. You know, you got the uh, psychodynamic uh, theory, and you have this behaviorist, okay? behaviorist theory. Now, the psychodynamic, you know, this is in, this is more into the whole subconscious mind, okay? Like this, like, it's almost like saying most of our actions are, you know, we, we learn in childhood, um, you know, about love and, and people close to us, and that our, our, our actions later on in life are really determined from those, and it's more at a subconscious level. Now, you got these people called uh, the behaviorist, Okay, and have this behaviorist theory, and then these people basically essentially say um, they I should say they study what they see. Okay, it's not subconscious; it's out not out there, and you know that, that that's inside the mind. It's stuff that they can see, uh, you know, physically and watch someone's interactions. It's more it's it's the whole stimulus leads to a response. Okay. So for right now, all you, I want you to just know psychodynamic theory, more subconscious, the behaviorist theory, uh, and one of the big guys on this, for the most part, well, I'll tell you in a second, behaviorist theory says they study what they see, stimulus response. Now, there's three kind of types to this. Okay, and just be familiar with this. This isn't the, the, the point of the question, but you've got to have some type of background, okay, about the difference between the two. And then the behaviorist theory, you're going to break down into, the, into three different types. This is where you have the uh, classical conditioning, okay, and that's like the whole, you know, Pavlov's dog uh, kind of stuff, ring the bell, salivates, you know, ring the bell, get food, salivates, and then all of a sudden they ring the bell, then he just salivates, you know, it's, it's, you see the connection there. You have the operant, and I, I know I'm going to spell it incorrectly, but operant uh, conditioning, I think it's only one P, yeah, I'm so used to putting two, but it's a uh, operant conditioning, and this is led by B.F. Skinner, okay? That's kind of the name you associate with that. And you learn by consequence, okay? And this is essentially what we're dealing with in, in this, whole, this whole set of questions, which is, again, very, very, very common. I see it a lot, uh, especially in the psych world. And then you have the observational learning, okay? Uh, and that's more like social learning. But anyways... The real questions that you're going to probably see from this, if they ask a question in this section, is going to be behaviorist. You kind of know it was Skinner. It's, and then they're going to ask about operant conditioning, learn by consequence, and it's one of these four answer choices. Okay, So that's the background. Now, how do you attack these questions? Now, I had trouble with this. Or I really did, uh, until I just flat out did it this way. You know, I told myself, uh, well, I watched a ton, a ton more videos on it just to see if I can, uh, you know, find 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 a better way to do it. And so, really, you're gonna you gotta identify who they're asking about. So, in this situation, a four-year-old child gets put in, into timeout that involves not participating in a fun activity in order to decrease a behavior. The child, okay, so the child is is experiencing what? Which of these? So, the first thing you need to say is what's the behavior? Okay, you identify. Uh, you know, kind of the behavior that, that's going on here. And the behavior on this one is uh, in order to, uh, in fact, in order to decrease a behavior. So they don't really tell you what the, exactly the behavior is, but they want to decrease behavior. So there's two things you got to know. If the behavior goes up, if it increases, or whether the behavior 
decreased, okay? And you're looking to the question, Sam, and either it goes, the behavior of the person either went up or went down. If the behavior goes up, okay, then it's gonna be a reinforcement. If the behavior went down, it's gonna be considered a punishment, okay? And don't try to, I don't say, don't try to, to logically sometimes do these because that's where I messed up and I couldn't, you know, I, I would get ones wrong, um, but if you stick to this way of doing it, you'll get them all, you'll always get them right. So look for the behavior, okay? And is the behavior going up? It's a reinforcement. If the behavior went down, you know, diminished or whatever, it's a punishment. And then after that, you, do, you ask yourself, well, to make this happen, was something added or taken away from the child, okay? And ask yourself, was something added or taken away, removed, okay? Taken away, also known as removed, right? And then if, it's, if something was added, it's gonna be positive. If something is taken away, we're gonna say negative. And if you do it this way, in this, in this format, you know, number one, identify who they're talking about, because some questions will have two people involved. You know which one they're asking about. The second question is, what was the behavior? And did, was, did the behavior go up or did it go down? Did it increase or decrease? And then the last question you'll ask yourself was, well, to make that happen, was something added, positive, or was something taken away, removed? Stick to this formula, it, it'll work every time. So in this situation, the kid, they're trying to decrease the behavior. So we know that the uh, behavior um, was going uh, down, okay? The behavior was going down. Now, to make that happen, was something added or taken away? Well, the, the child was what? They were put in time out, okay? That involves not, okay? Now it's nice to you here. I put these in caps. Not participating. So the kid was removed from the other kids, okay? It's not like the punishment was added. The kid was removed, and his removal from the situation decreased, uh, or his removal from participating in the group decreased the behavior, okay? So in this situation, it was removed, so this would be considered a negative, negative punishment, okay? Stick to the formula, and then it's just a matter of doing some problems, and you'll start getting the hang of it. This one says, Coach T runs a tight team and expects all students, all his student athletes to show up to practice on time. Each time every athlete is ready on time for practice, coach allows them a choice of where to cool down after practice. His athletes love being able to choose how they cool down after practice. So the on time attendance rates have all increased. According to operant conditioning, how is coach T conditioning his athletes? So we're talking about the, the athletes here, okay? So we know it's the athletes. Now, what's, our, what's essentially our first question? It's the behavior, okay? The behavior is, is, is what? What's the behavior that they're looking at? They're looking at showing up to practice on time. Did that behavior go up, okay? Or did the behavior go down? Well, as a result, they actually, the attendance rates have increased. So the behavior increased. Now we said that's going to be a reinforcement, right? If behaviors go up, reinforcement. If the behaviors go down, punishment. Then what's our next question? Well, to make that happen, was something added, okay, or positive, or was something taken away from them? Okay. Well, in this situation, that what were they allowed to do? Well, the coach gave them something, right? The coach gave them the opportunity to where they would cool down, so they were given something. So in this situation, this would, con this would be considered a positive reinforcement. Answer choice B. Okay, follow that flow and you'll get it right every time. This one says, uh, the last time Christy went to the beach, she got a sunburn. Two weeks later, she goes to the beach again and decided this time to wear sunscreen. Christy did not get, the, get sunburn. Now, Christy always wears sunscreen at the beach. According to operant condition, how is Christy being conditioned? All right, so it's Christy. What's the behavior in this one? Is the behavior uh, going to the beach? Is it, getting, is it getting sunburn? No, the behavior, okay, that we're gonna ask if it goes up or, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do that, up or down is what? The behavior is 
that she then decided to put this time put on sunscreen, right? She learned or to do put on sunscreen. So the behavior went uh, up, right? She start she you know putting putting on more sunscreen or started to do it on a more regular basis. Now, what caused, right? What uh, was something added or was something taken away that caused her to increase that behavior? Well, initially what? She got sunburned, right? Now, is going to the beach adding something or is giving her suntan lotion giving her something? No. Uh, adding something? No. What happened? The fact that what happened? The fact that she didn't get sunburned you know, now you know, Christy did not get sunburned. Now she always wears sunscreen. So the behavior increased as a result of what? Not getting sunburned. So something was taken away. And we knew that would be a negative reinforcement. Okay? Kind of a tricky one, but you just got to know who you're talking about. What was the behavior in the situation? She, she kept adding more sunscreen. And what caused her to do that? Was something given or taken away? Something was taken away. She quit getting sunburned. And that allowed that and that kind of reinforced her to, well, I better put on sunscreen. And again, negative uh, reinforcement. This one says, Claire is a good student at school. She likes getting gold stickers to put on a chart every time she reads a book. Claire is the best reader in class with most with the most stars. According to operant conditioning, how is Claire being conditioned? All right. Well, we know it's Claire, right? We said her name a gazillion times. Uh, what's the behavior? The behavior is uh, reading a book, okay? And every time she reads a book, she gets a sticker. So as a result, did, the, did that behavior go up or down? Well, she's the best reader with the most stars. So she, kept, so she got more stars because she kept reading books. So the behavior went up. Now, was something given to her or taken away or removed? She kept getting stickers, so something was given to her, okay? So that would be a positive reinforcement. Answer choice B. And the last one, see, here, says, a couple bring their 13-year-old son, Sam, to the therapist for issues in school. It appears Sam is not attempting his math homework from school. Now, each time Sam ignores his homework, he has to do the dishes. Sam hates washing dishes. The parents later notice that Sam has been completing more of his, home, of his math homework assignments from school. According to operant conditioning, Sam is being conditioned how? Okay? Kind of work through this and maybe pause it and even get your own choice because this, really, this is the last one of this set. It will really tell, and tell you if, you if you got this down or not. Okay? So who are we talking about? Well, I'm talking about Sam. What's the behavior? Okay? And remember, we're going to set this up. Is the behavior going up? Or is behavior going down? And then we ask ourselves, was something added? Or was something taken away? Okay. Well, what was the behavior? The behavior that, the, the initial behavior that they were looking at is he was not attempting his homework. And now he attempts it. So the behavior of not attempting his math homework did what? His his behavior for not attempting, that actually went down. Okay, you understand that? Because the behavior was he wasn't attempting the homework, and that bad behavior went down. So that would be a punishment. Now, was, did that occur? Did that, did that behavior occur because something was added, or was something taken away? Well, what happened is, they, if he didn't do that, then he was given a chore, right? Washing dishes. So something was added to him, okay? Which is positive. So this would be a positive punishment. Answer choice A. So again, guys, just make sure you know the whole it's behaviorist. You know, they had classical conditioning, operant conditioning, and observational. It's the operant is the one they like to test on. B.F. Skinner, and it goes through all this. But if you know, identify who it is, did the behavior go up or down? And then what caused that behavior to go up or down? And if you just know these words, you know, it was it a uh, rein, uh, reinforcement, a punishment, at a uh, positive or negative. You go in that flow and you'll get them right every time.